Hot Sun Spring and Vortex gas piston powered air guns are some of the most powerful in the world, often exceeding other air guns in their related classes by as much as 15 and 20 percent. Achieving this level of energy requires a more powerful power plant, and as a result, Hot Sun air guns have a firm and unique recoil. Hatsan has commissioned this video to help demonstrate the techniques necessary to adapt to this type of recoil and achieve consistent accuracy. Let's get started. Shooting high-powered spring and gas ram-powered air guns can be tricky business, especially if you're making the switch from firearms. Firearms recoil basically in one direction, which is back into the shooter's shoulder. They also propel their projectiles at a much higher velocity than air guns. In reality, the projectile is long gone before the recoil can have any significant effect on the point of impact. Traditional spring and gas piston powered air guns are very different in that they recoil in as many as three different directions. First, there's the initial jolt back into the shooter's shoulder. Next, and specifically with Magnum spring air guns, those are the ones with the metal spring, there can be rotational torque as the spring expands and pushing the piston forward. Lastly, there's a jolt forward, which is caused by the impact of the piston into the front of the compression chamber. This is called reverse recoil. Hotson Vortex gas piston air guns eliminate some of these effects with a smoother shot cycle and no rotational torque. Now, this all happens while the pellet is still in the barrel and why proper technique and hold is so critical as any change in hold position or pressure can and will influence that point of impact. When you watch an artillery piece fire, you're going to see them rock and roll like crazy, but they always seem to hit their mark with great precision. This is because the action returns to the exact same location every time. This technique can be adapted to spring and gas ram powered air guns and why it's been coined the artillery hold. The goal is to master the same exact hold position and pressure for each shot, not as to control the recoil, but rather to make it extremely predictable. Here are some general rules to follow. Now, each air gun is going to require a bit of finesse and practice to master, but these basics will get you headed in the right direction. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the balance point of your particular hot sun air gun and cradle it with your off hand. It's critical to make note of your hand placement because any shift forward or backward can have a dramatic effect on the point of impact. Next, gently take the grip of the rifle and bring it to your shoulder. You want to maintain control, but you don't need a death grip on the rifle. As with the position of your offhand, make a mental note of how you're gripping the rifle, how you're positioning your finger on the trigger, and where you're placing your thumb, etc. Every aspect of how you are holding the rifle can have an impact on consistency from shot to shot. After you take your shot, it's critical to hold the position for a moment or two. This is called follow through. It's common to want to look up and immediately see where you hit the target. Fight that urge and maintain your hold for a few moments after the shot. Now that you have the basics to the artillery hold, it's time to start shooting your new hot sun air gun and refining your technique. As you're learning how your rifle shoots and how it likes to be held, you're also performing the necessary break-in process for your new air gun. All spring and gas ram powered air guns require some amount of break-in before they reach their optimal performance. The average break-in period is going to vary, but it's generally say between 200 and say 350 shots. Make sure to always only use quality ammo like our Vortex pellets or H&N premium ammo for best results. While you're learning your new hot sun air gun, try and stick with open sights if it's so equipped. And only shoot at close range, say 10 yards for example. This allows you to see what minor changes may need to be made to your technique to help improve accuracy. It is a learning process and it's going to take some time and patience. Here are a few final tips to help you get the most out of your spring or vortex gas piston powered hot sun air gun. Let's start with what not to do. Don't rest your rifle directly on any type of support like a sandbag, rifle rest, shooting sticks, or any other type of hard surface. This will create an unstable rest point and you'll never get the kind of consistent accuracy that the rifle is capable of achieving. Now here's what you can do. You can use supports of various types to support your offhand. When you're shooting from the bench, 
create a three-point stance using your elbows and a support for your offhand. This will allow you to relax and focus on your technique. Once you've mastered how a particular rifle needs to be shot, then you can try and duplicate those results away from the bench. Hotson USA is dedicated to helping its customers get the most out of their new airgun purchase. For more information and additional resources, please visit their website at www.hotsonusa.com. Thank you for watching.